Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to concentrate again on this very hot weather we're going to be seeing come the end of this working week. Friday perhaps we could break the all-time June temperature record. Now there's only a possibility with that record being 35.6 degrees in Southampton on the 28th of June 1976 and some of the models are today hinting the peak temperature could be around that 34 to 36 degree range so it's not going to smash it by any means but there is the possibility that we do actually get a temperature record now we're going to have a look at various models today and we will have a look for the two meter temperatures we'll have a look at what the uk met office run is showing we'll have a look at what the icon is showing and what the r pairs is showing and you'll see there are three different sort of views. The UK Met Office run, very much looking at maybe 35, 36. The Icon, more around 33, 34. And the Arpege, more around 31, 32. So it's getting very hot. But how hot it gets, there's still some very slight uncertainties with that. We'll also have a look at the longer range, look at the GFS and the ensembles, as there are some signals we could remain warm for the rest of June. Perhaps those ensembles trending a little bit warmer. Nothing hot by any means, still much cooler than we're seeing this end of week. Um, but perhaps getting towards like mid-20 sort of temperatures. We also do need to keep an eye on, we have a look at precipitation charts as well, because we could be seeing some very heavy rain on the weekend, which is something we haven't really alluded to a lot. We've mentioned a little bit, but not properly talked about, because I haven't really come into the shorter time frame yet. But we're seeing very hot air getting pushed out by very cool Atlantic air. When that happens, we're always going to be seeing a lot of energy, and it could be some very heavy rain and maybe some thundery weather into the weekend. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if you do start on the live radar, you can see we are seeing some very dry weather across most of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Wales and England, and for the far south and east of Scotland. A bit of a weather front moving in for Northern and Western Scotland, unfortunately bringing some precipitation and thicker cloud. Elsewhere, further southwards, we're starting to see that real warm, if not hot weather, starting to build in, with temperatures widely across England into the low 20s today, and for some, through central and southern areas, getting towards the mid-20s, 24, 25, maybe even 26 degrees is possible today. And that is only going to be ramping up before peaking in around the low to mid-30s on Friday. Now, I'm recording this in the morning, so temperatures are not peaking yet. But if we do have a look at the 2 meter temperatures, you can see it is starting to warm up in the east and the south already. You've seen these oranges coming in, which is temperatures into the high teens, already probably touching on 20 degrees for around half 10, 11 in the morning. So really starting to warm up. You can see towards our south, towards France and Spain, already getting into the 30 degree range. Uh, and these areas are going to be getting into the 40s um, over the next couple of days. And that's where our heat really is coming from. Just looking to our south, incredible heat over parts of North Africa, into Spain, Portugal, up through France, heading towards the UK. It's going to be turning incredibly hot for Spain. Um, sorry, France. Spain is definitely hitting 40 degrees at the moment. But France could even be hitting 40 degrees come Friday, Saturday. A couple of degrees warmer than the United Kingdom. And to be honest, if we did see this heat wave sort of conditions last a bit longer than sort of the couple of days we're going to be seeing at the end of this working week, I wouldn't have been surprised if the UK threatened our all-time temperature record, getting up towards that 39, 40 degree range, if we did see this heat sustained. But it's getting swept away after around 24 to 48 hours. So it is not lasting too long. So that's why Max temperatures are only in the low to mid 30s. So if we do now have a look at what the UK Met Office is showing for its precipitation, and then we'll have a look at temperature. So just to have a precipitation, this is not going to be too much around for most, but the precipitation in the north and west at the moment, and of course this afternoon, will peter out, but remain over the higher ground in Scotland. Some more weather fronts just flirting with the far north um, and west of parts of Ireland, North Ireland and Scotland as well. Beyond that, we do see some showers push through, but most areas are pretty dry and pleasant. And through Thursday, some cloud around, but it's most likely high-level cloud. Nothing too crazy, a bit hazy, perhaps. And some more precipitation heading through, but that's because the very hot air is pushing up. And you can see for Friday, loads of beautiful sunshine for most of England and Wales. 
um, really high temperatures. Even into Scotland and Ireland, it will still be very warm, especially to the east of these weather fronts. You can see where that precipitation is. That's the dividing line between cooler and very hot air. And that precipitation will be moving southwards and eastwards. And as it engages with that really hot air, we can see, be seeing some very heavy and maybe thundery rain mixing in there. As you can see a big mass of rain, a lot of energy mixing in there. And that could be um, some really, really horrible conditions for the weekend um, in these areas. Again, this is five days away, so I wouldn't pinpoint this precipitation too much and this intensity too much, but the, the potential is there for some very heavy widespread precipitation and thunderstorms because of the breakdown of this very hot weather. It could be a 20 degree sort of temperature contrast in the space of a couple hundred miles, really, um, between the very hot air mass moving to our east and the Atlantic air mass moving in from the west. So yeah, it could be some real, real horrible conditions from that post the very hot conditions we're going to be seeing on Friday and Saturday for some. So you can see this afternoon, those temperatures, as I said, getting around that 23, 24 degree range, maybe 25, 26 in a few spots. As we head towards Wednesday, you can see those temperatures climbing even higher, more widely around that 24 to 26 degree range, maybe getting up towards 27, 28 degrees. But by Thursday, you're still seeing those very warm conditions, maybe potentially touching on that high 20s, maybe 29, 30 degrees is possible, but most likely 26 to 28 degrees. Remember, these models are showing the sort of widespread temperatures and locally with microclimate conditions of urban heat islands that we see in London area, where we see a lot of cars, a lot of buildings around, can just give a quite a little nudge to those temperatures that the models don't take into account. So that's why I always say on these charts, it's possible to see temperatures maybe a degree or two warmer. So yes, 27, 28 degrees widely, but perhaps locally 29 or 30 degrees. And remember, that's what we look at for like temperature records and stuff and peak temperatures. And through into Friday, incredible conditions, widespread 30 plus degrees. Hotter temperatures in the Midlands, into perhaps northern England, Yorkshire, into East Anglia, 34 to 36 degrees is possible from this latest UK Met Office run. Incredibly hot. You can see though to the north and the west of that weather front that's over Scotland and Ireland, it's only 15, 16 degrees, but to the east, 25, 26 degrees, and perhaps in sort of the Dublin areas. So incredibly warm contrast there. But yeah, incredibly hot, incredibly hot. Um, and as we head into Saturday, you can see in the far southeast, 31 degrees. You can see across parts of Wales, struggling into the low double digits, 20 degree temperature contrast. And that's what's fueling that mass of precipitation uh, moving up from the southwest. Incredibly hot conditions. You can see just across the near uh, into the near continent, 40 degrees is being seen across parts of northern France. And that's why I said if we held on to this air mass properly for another day or two, I wouldn't be surprised to see us getting to that high 30s, maybe touching on the 40 degree range. But luckily, we're not seeing that for the time being. So if we do now have a look at what the icon is showing, just for temperatures, uh, now we'll, we will skip straight to Friday because it's pretty much... Um, it doesn't really matter too much what we're going to be seeing from now until Thursday, just because those temperatures are going to be around what that UK metal for run is showing. We're really interested in Friday, simply because of the temperature records and quite how high this is going to peak. So you can see by Friday afternoon, the icon run very much turning sort of 31, 32, maybe 33 degrees. So hot. Not quite as hot as the UK Met Office run, though. Widespread hot, though. So, you know, 30 degrees for very, well, for quite a few, really, for most of the country, especially England and Wales. Um, but not quite peaking much higher. And as we head towards Saturday afternoon as well, much cooler in the far southeast with that cooler air sweeping through much faster. As you can see by Saturday, it could be a 20 degree temperature contrast um, between Friday temperatures and Saturday. And you see just towards... Uh, our southeast into France, just to the bottom under the legend there of the chart, you can see 40 to 41 degrees being seen towards central and northern France. Now, if we have a look at the Arpege, see how that does compare. If we do skip all the way to Friday, you can see those temperatures in the afternoon getting up to around that 31, 32, 33, and I wouldn't be surprised, 34, 35 degree range. Very, very hot again. And across northern France, maybe 35, 36 degrees. Yes, very, very, very hot potential there high 20s as well quite widely um, so yeah could be seeing 
Could be seeing the sort of temperature record flirt there. 34 degrees likely on this R pairs run. And again, 35, 36 degrees isn't out of the question. So the possibility is there for the all-time uh, or the all-time June temperature record. It must be so it is June, not all-time temperature record, because we've seen that in July and August. We've seen hotter temperatures. So yeah, Friday looks very, very hot, and into Saturday, we can't quite get that far into the future. So yeah, all-time temperature record could be threatened here. There, I'd give it maybe a, a ten to twenty percent chance. I said yesterday, I wouldn't say those chances have increased, and I wouldn't say they have, they have diminished either. We're still seeing some runs showing it. We've seen some runs staying well away from it, down towards that thirty-one, thirty-two degree range. So we're just going to have to see it at the moment. Regardless, though, it's going to be incredibly hot. There's going to be very high UV levels out there, so please do take the necessary precautions. Make sure you put on sun cream. Try and stay in the shade as much as possible, and make sure you do stay incredibly hydrated. As well more water than you normally need just simply because of the temperatures and everyone is going to be sweating more than normal so if we do now run onto the gfs just have a look what that's showing and then we'll look at the ensembles as well so you can see that high pressure building to our east incredibly hot air mass coming up from the south you've got those upper air temperatures getting towards that 20 degree range at 850 hpa for friday incredibly hot and eventually that air does push away to our east and sort of diminish and we see a bit of a low pressure system move in and that's why we're seeing those heavier precipitation through maybe saturday into sunday and monday and then generally we go into a bit of a westerly flow some cooler northerly conditions perhaps appearing here so much cooler in the longer term and more unsettled and maybe thundery as well um and yeah just not particularly pleasant um i did say at the start of the video we were seeing trends towards warmer conditions perhaps in the long term and we are but this operational run is not playing ball with those latest trends um and this would be very, very unsettled with the wind direction coming in from a northerly or northwesterly so if we do have a look at the ensembles though you can see there is a shift slightly warmer for between the sort of the 20th and 25th of june um now we are looking at yeah so yeah the operation one is cooler in the longer term but slightly warm in the short term so it does trend a little bit warmer but not in the longer term so you can see we are coming above average today really we're transitioning to those above average conditions today and then it's peaking massively towards friday saturday some big precipitation perhaps towards saturday sunday still uncertainty with that if those temperatures plunge 15 to 20 degrees at 850 HPA, and then we stay around or above average, and this is where we're just seeing that trend slightly above average. Precipitation is still around, so more low pressure potentially involved. Before in the longer term, we generally return to around average. So still a lot of uncertainty, perhaps slight shift to warmer conditions in the longer term. If you have a look at the ECM WF ensemble, see what they're showing. Not quite trending warmer in the longer term, staying around or slightly below average. So um, a little bit of uncertainty there, but perhaps we could be seeing uh, perhaps um, we could be seeing some more warmth in the longer term anyway average temperatures are still going to be pretty warm regardless but you can see over the next sort of five days incredibly hot temperatures appearing and then massive precipitation spikes that cool down so yeah it does look like we could be seeing we could be seeing some yeah big precipitation totals for some in the space of this weekend so yeah have to keep an eye on that but the main thing we have to be looking at is these hot temperatures on fridays as i said earlier make sure you do stay um stay say well, make sure you do stay safe really uh make sure you're hydrated sun cream and stay in the shade as much as possible especially through the peak hours of the day from around 10 until 4 as it is going to be incredibly hot quite widely if you're in the far north or west of scotland and parts of western northern ireland and republic of ireland you won't have too much to worry about as those temperatures most likely will peak around 20 degrees or so but it's for england wales and perhaps parts of southern scotland and eastern parts of northern and republic of ireland to be seeing high 20s and for england and wales low 30s and peaking in around that mid 30s range incredibly hot conditions and could threaten the june temperature record so please do stay safe i'll have more updates here over the next couple of days so please do stay tuned um, and see if we have any more developments in regards to those temperatures whether we do trend slightly warmer for friday or slightly cooler and what is happening with those showers persistent rain perhaps heavy rain and thundery weather towards the weekend so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon